as you all know, a few weeks ago, uh, Oklahoma had a uh, event that certainly deserved even more coverage. I don't think the coverage it received was enough, actually. Uh, a botched execution happened in uh, Oklahoma of uh, Clayton Lockett. They uh, administered the, uh, the lethal injection, and there was all sorts of... Uh, uh, issues arising where they weren't letting it be known what they were using, and they had to use, I believe, some some other concoction because the the drug manufacturer was not letting them use their uh, their drugs to administer the lethal injection. And the Oklahoma governor refused to stay it until uh, further uh, further information or details or the courts can decide really. And the execution went bad, and this guy suffered, and suffered for a long time before dying, and should be really a, people should look down on that. It's something, it's a sad moment for this country, I think, and I don't think many people view it as that, but um, in response to this, uh, NBC News decided to poll people on lethal injections and the death penalty in general to see if the uh, if the mood across the country changed after this heavily covered event. Um, and they found that this has not happened at all. Uh, the majority of Americans still uh, support the death penalty. Um... It's not this event has not hurt the uh, people who support the death penalty at all, and two thirds of voters would back alternatives to lethal injection if they this if if after review happens it's decided that lethal injections like this should no longer happen. Um, what's truly disturbing is they interviewed these people, and 20% are for gas chamber, 18% are for the electric chair. And 12% are for firing squads. And 8% are, are for hanging. Uh, they interviewed some of these people. Uh, the, the lethal injection is someone's very gross interpretation of killing someone humanely, said Cooney Beasley, who called for a return to hanging. Oh my God. Uh, it's very quick. You don't have to worry about drugs, and it's very efficient. Better than a firing squad. A firing squad is messy. I mean, just when you think someone's going to say something that's, you know, you know, from their heart, like, you know, oh, man, this is really... He said, the lethal injection is a very gross interpretation of killing someone humanely. Wow, it's a very profound statement. I'm very happy you, you, you feel that way because it is disgusting that we are killing people in response to their crime, being that even though that is the crime that they're being committed... And being punished for, but we are doing that and we're taking life. I mean, we're in the business of killing and, you know, I'm glad, you know, it's a very... But, uh, wait, a uh, what? Oh, oh, you want hanging. Oh, okay. I mean, what do you <laughs> say? I mean, really, like, it's... it's Lethal injection is fucked up. We should actually, we should hang them. That yeah. would be, uh, makes a lot more sense. It's insane to me. Uh, Gladys... I think lethal injection is a little questionable. Like, what we should do is you should go unstyle, literally snap somebody's neck off with rope as they hang in the air and well, breathe for breath. Yeah. That, before, before we move on from Beasley... Makes total sense. Before we move on from uh, Beasley, the reason he's convinced that uh, hanging is the best option is, after all, that's how they killed Saddam Hussein. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, you know, you know how they got Hitler. We should give all criminals a gun. <laughs> I mean, we should just push people off buildings. I don't, I don't know. Like, make make it a real spectacle. We should all give criminals a gun. We should all hand them poison. Uh, and let them do it. Right. That's how we should kill. If we want to do it, I mean. If you want to go by how we killed some of, I guess, who you can view as the worst people ever. No, that's what I'm going to say. It's pretty bad. Yeah, no, Hitler I'm saying bad. the worst people ever. Yeah. I mean, I guess Hitler would top that list. I think Hitler would probably top. I think Hitler is the standard. Yeah. So why, yeah. why, why just deal with how we, got, how, we, how we executed Saddam Hussein? Why just go with hanging when you can go with how we got the biggest baddie of them all? And let 
execute all of our people on death row via suicide. Forced suicides. We should just convince people to commit mass suicide. I think that's the plan. That wow. That's what I'm for. I haven't seen anyone on this list. I mean, I know one person here, Gladys. None of them really Pringle. have the balls to step up. Frankly. Yeah, Gladys Pringle wants Gladys a uh, Pringle. wants <laughs> wants <laughs> wants. Once bullets, she said, it would be quick. And with a firing squad, no one knows whose bullet actually killed the person. So it's easier on them. I like how she's most worried about the poor people who have to administer the executions. But if you thought Gladys Pringle, if you thought the craziest thing about Gladys Pringle was her view on firing squads or her name. I still thought it was her name. Or her name. Yeah, name. Wait for for this, this one. She continues. The most humane way is the guillotine, but I can't see that coming back. Sorry, I'm stepping off the mic as far as I can. Guillotine making the comeback, baby! Oh, my God. I mean, really, this is unbelievable. <laughs> and there's some really interesting stats here, actually. Um, One-fourth of people who oppose execution say the main reason is it's against their religious beliefs. Six uh, percent of people think a deterrent effect, think it's a deterrent effective, and that's the strong argument for execution. 14% cite cost effectiveness. Yes, because what we really should be worried about is how much it costs. Um, that's unbelievable to me. Uh, only 18% of Republicans are against the death penalty, whereas half of Democrats are against the death penalty. And this is the most interesting stat to me. More interesting than the fact that uh, Republicans, Protestants, and older people are more likely to favor execution than Democrats, Catholics, and young people. This is the most interesting stat to me. Nine, uh, sorry, 64% of whites favor the death penalty. 58% of blacks oppose it. Huh. I wonder why. Hmm. Hmm. It's a post-racial America. There's no white privilege. Wonder why 64% of whites are favoring the death penalty, whereas almost the same amount of blacks oppose it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should take a look at the color of the people who are being executed. Maybe that has something to do with it. Well, nah. and also the nah. DNA evidence and nah. clearing and all of this, yeah. <laughs>